Hey everybody, welcome to another episode on Project Nine Oaks. Today we're going to be working back on the vintage camper. We're going to put those running lights on these campers. You know, those are the tail lights for the, you know, the they're on when your car is on, uh, lights are on, but also the brake lights. And then there's also these running lights that are around the top of the camper that are on when, again, when your lights are on on the vehicle. So uh, the old ones were, you know, the incandescent bulbs. They were, uh, you know, worn out. They're all rusted and uh, you know the plastics dry rotting things like that so today we're going to be taking all those off i'm going to show you how they're connected you know originally and how we're going to take them off and then likely going to be starting the installation but uh, it's kind of the end of the day so it's going to be uh, probably bleed into tomorrow but anyway appreciate you sticking around for this one why don't you uh this video subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get started all right so here's the uh, equipment that i purchased online and some of the tools that i'll be using today so I went online and bought these two inch LED lights here. So these are the lights that are going, going to go in the back and the sides and the front. And uh, they, they are installed with these uh, rubber grommets. And then it has uh, the cord that comes with those grommets. So if you see this grommet, because you, know, you have a drill a big hole into the, um, into the tin, push this in, and then you push this you know, through the grommet to connect. And then these, uh, you know wires here you know plug in to the back so it's fairly simple i just have a lot of them to do this is the two and a half inch hole saw that i'm going to use to cut the hole in the side with gotta again get up the nerve to cut holes in the tin and then these are the tail lights so these are you know similar situation with the grommet uh and the uh the wire that's going to be installed in the back this one has three wires uh, it has, instead of just a ground and a power, it's going to have a ground, the power for like the running lights, and then a power for the turn signal. Um, it does not have reverse lights, so so that's why there's only three on there. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be using uh, the drill to take off the old ones, and I'll show you how those are hooked up. You know, they have a power and a ground, and... Uh, We'll just unplug them and then just start taking them off. So, so this is basically it. I'll try to have links in the description of where I purchased these from, so you can get these uh, the, the same setup for your for your camper. But uh, so let's go check out these old ones and see what uh, what they look like. All right, we're up here at the top of the camper, and this is the back of the camper, and I have five lights along the top that I'll be replacing. So you can see I got three red lights in the middle, and they've seen better days. And then I have two orange lights on the end, and I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the laws now require only red lights on the back, so I'm going to be replacing those orange with red. But it's fairly self-explanatory. These old dry-rotted plastic parts will probably just break when I try to pry them off. But there's two screws here. One is, uh, I think they're both actually going through the tin, and one of them is the ground wire is connected to it, and it's going to be grounded to the tin. Uh, how they did it the old way. So we're going to take these screws off on each one, pop the covers, take the screws off. I'm going to show you inside next, and so you can see what that looks like. Okay, we're inside on the back, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is where the the lights are behind all this insulation. So we'll take that out. And I still got to fix that frame. You can see all that's wet, or used to be wet. So you see I have two screws coming in and it's just screwing into the to the tin. There's a big hole here for the wire and no grommet or anything, which kind of which kind of stinks. Um, or, or, you know, like rubber protection because that wire could rub on that tin and get frayed. But it's just one power cord. You see this coming out and that's just to uh, these are running lights. So it's just one cord and all this all these green wires are connected to the uh, the, you know, plug in the front of the camper that plugs into your vehicle and these will turn on when your lights turn on instead of having a second ground wire that's going to be run to all the lights uh, they grounded it to the tin itself and i think it's through one of these screws that metal strap in the on the light on the outside the screw went through it and into the tin so uh i'm not going to do that i don't the one i've been researching is i think it would be a little more uh uh, reliable somewhat if I run a ground wire to all of these it's more wire uh, you know to run and to purchase but I think it'll be okay uh, or I think it'll be worth it you know for for uh, kind of peace of mind so I'm gonna expose all these in the back gotta go through the wall here and there I do have some wall 
uh, material still left. So I'm going to pull that off to get through it because we're going to end up unscrewing all these, uh, taking the wires off and cutting a big two and a half inch hole to accept that grommet for the light. All right, well, here's the damage after all of these were removed. You can see that these are basically done. I think there were a few, you may have noticed when I went to grab them, they just kind of broke in my hand. So, so these outer lenses were already, you know, beyond their, their life, but also the, these inner housings were, uh, you know, rusted and water was getting in there, any kind of seal that was present is just gone. So I'm glad I'm replacing these. Okay, so I decided to, uh, let's drill into a, a spare piece so I don't just, my first try, drill into the side of the camper. So I've got the spare piece here. Let's see if it, what goes down. Okay, so let's see if, let's see it doesn't, It doesn't grip it too well. I don't know if you can see, but it's got to go behind this lip, and it's two and a half inches. Yeah, it's probably just a hair too big. All right, let's find another hole saw, maybe like two and a quarter, or something like that, and then let's try again. I'm glad I I tested it out. Let me take you up here and show you what was going on. So I drilled the first one out and it was pretty difficult. I actually had to hold it steady um, pretty, pretty good. And what, what the reasoning is, is there's no center hole that the, that center drill bit can guide into. It's just kind of is loose in here. So it kind of wants to waller out the, the hole itself. So I have, uh, you know, this one done. I got to do the rest, but I don't want it to kind of dance around on me. This one was kind of, you can see how it was kind of going back and forth, not really grabbing. So I put a piece of wood behind it. So now I'm going to drill in the center and it should, st that wood should hold the drill bit while it centers it. So now, cause I have to match this one over here. So let's get to doing that and hopefully that works. I think that worked. Let me show you here. Good job. Okay, I just taped it, taped the wood on the back so it's it's still hanging in there, but that was able to hold it steady while I drilled it. Those screws were in the center of the hole saw so it didn't uh, uh, run into anything. As you can see, it looks like I'm about level with this side. So I'm gonna go rearrange this wood on the back and then just do the rest of these and then we'll move around to the, to the side and back.
All right, well, I'm all done with these LED lights at the top. It kind of was a, uh, you know, kind of a rinse and repeat kind of process. I showed you guys uh, this side of it, the front side. You know, it's things that I learned, you know, that it's a two and a quarter drill bit. You kind of just drill the hole, then you file it down to get rid of the burrs, and then you stick that grommet in there. And actually, before you put the light in, it would work out best if you like put a little WD-40 on the light just to spray it around there and it'll slide into that grommet a lot easier and then you're good to go. Appreciate you guys sticking around for this video. I'm going to be working on this camper a lot more. I'm going to be doing uh, some of the wiring and some more lights and things like that. So if you would just uh, subscribe to this channel so you get notifications that these videos are being done. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thank you.